Okay, y'all, we're gonna jump right in. I'm about to give you a tutorial of my skincare steamer routine. This is what I find works for me. Everybody has a different process, a different way of doing things, different products. It just depends on what you want, okay, and what works for your skin, okay? So now let me tell you, I have acne prone skin. I am oily, like literally. At the end of the day, the middle of the day, heck, sometimes the beginning of the day, I can literally tell, you know this part of the hand right here, mm, that part right there, they get real ashy. I can take that part of the hand right there and go just like this down my forehead, the front of my forehead, my face, and just moisturize. Uh -huh. So, before we begin, I want to show you my products, my setup, and my steamer that I use, okay? So let's jump right into it. Here's my steamer that I will be using. This was given to me by my lovely dear sister, June Gray, my friend, aka Golden Girl. And these are my products i just wanted to show you like my little setup here that i got okay because we about to cleanse this face honey snatch these pores up okay all right let's get going so the first thing you want to do is you want to fill your um steamer with distilled water okay you want to use distilled water you do not want to use any other water because you want water without impurities and so forth so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and warm up my steamer i click both buttons the steam and ozone ozone takes it to another level y'all so we're going to another level honey okay Let's get the steamer going. And once it starts warming up, it'll start bubbling up and the steam will start coming, honey, okay? So, in the meantime, while we're doing that, let's prep this good face for this good steamer. First thing I want to show you is our, these Neutrogena wipes. Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Now, I don't know about y'all, but baby, these wipes right here, I cannot live without these wipes, okay? If I run out of Neutrogena wipes, let me tell you, I don't care if it's 12 o'clock or not, I will ride to Walmart, baby, and pick these bad boys up because these Neutrogena makeup wipes are the bomb. First of all, me and my homegirl, June, like literally, we're thinking about doing a commercial. We live by these. We stand by these. These things work, okay? I feel like I'm naked when I don't have these wipes, okay? Now, I ain't gonna lie, so if, if I happen to be out and I'm just too tired to go run to the store and get them, another great tip to remove makeup, especially like the eyeliner, the mascara, it can get really like thick and, and, and just, especially if you have waterproof, it's hard to get that bad boy off. But these right here, get it off, okay? But if you do not have Neutrogena wipes or a good oil base, a oil based um, makeup remover, which is really good to start out with. You can use um, coconut oil. I love coconut oil. Coconut oil is amazing. Now my 90 year old grandmother, who is the bomb honey, who is a diva, who puts a full face of makeup on every day, every morning. She's old school, you know old school folks. She uses that good old petroleum jelly, okay? And if she says it's been working all these years and it's gonna keep on working. I'm just gonna go ahead while this is um, steaming up, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my Neutrogena wipe and just start removing any excess like eyeliner, dirt, eye makeup, just all that good stuff. Just start removing your makeup, use your wipe. And sometimes, you know how like the eyeliner, it can be hard to get off of the mascara, it's like it smears. I like to take my finger like that and then I just start pressing in it like this and then I get up under it like that and I go up. You always wanna go up. Anytime you're doing anything on your face, any type of movement or motion, your motion should be going up. And the reason why you wanna go up is because you don't want your skin to start sagging because over time, as you keep applying creams and, and cleansers, if you're going down, your face may begin to sag a little bit. See, you don't wanna sag, okay? You wanna go up. We want everything up. If it's up, then it's up, mm -mm, then it's up, okay? We want everything up. Cardi B knew she was talking about, okay? You want everything up. My next step is, I want to use my cleanser. Now, this is, oh, look at that, look at that, uh-oh, hold up. 
Let me turn it around this way. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, y'all. Look at this thing, y'all. Look at that, girl. Look at that right there, girl. So I'm gonna let this just steam all on my face, honey. And what this steamer is doing, the steamer is opening up my pores, y'all. Let me tell y'all. After you use this good steamer, honey, baby, you feel like a million bucks. But this steam really helps get all of the um, your pores, open up your pores. It's preparing your face for the um, for the ingredients that you're about to use to cleanse your face and detoxify your skin. And listen, don't miss your neck too. Get your neck, mm -hmm, all of that. Get your neck, neck area. Oh, I'm off the camera, okay. Let me come back down. All right, but yeah, you wanna do your neck area too. But just let the steam, just steam your whole face. And it feels so good, y'all. It's so relaxing. Oh my God. Mm. I ain't even lying. Yo, you could, you could go to sleep just like this. You know how old folks, you see, you watch old folks and you be like, how, how can old folks sleep sitting up like this? Just like that. Now I'm gonna start with my, the cleanser that I use, okay? I use a line called Bashia, or it could be Boshia. I don't know how you pronounce this thing. Purifying Cleansing Gel. And this is what I use to cleanse my face every day. I love this purifying cleansing gel. And the reason why I love this line, y'all, is because number one, I'm very oily and I have acne prone skin. And I have also, my skin is a little bit sensitive. So I can't use like really harsh products. This is a vegan line, okay? Let me give you just a few tips about this really great um, cleansing gel, purifying cleansing gel. Um, I just want to tell you a few added benefits. So it is full of rich, rich, rich amino acids. Botanical amino acids actually help eliminate any type of toxins in your skin. This cleanser also has green tea extract in it, which is an antioxidant, which soothes and protects against elements, okay? This is also gonna help reduce inflammation in the skin. Another, another um, ingredient that this cleanser has is rosemary leaf extract. And what this is good for, it's a really effective antioxidant, right? And it helps against um, inflammation and it helps reduce pores. Now I told you, if you're oily or acne prone, you always wanna use something that has an ingredient in it that helps reduce pores because those breakouts and stuff, from those breakouts, sometimes they can leave abrasions and leave you with open pores. And that has been my struggle like my entire life. It also has a hoba oil in it and it also has willow herb now let me tell you what willow herb is good for it calms skin inflammation and irritations and it reduces visible redness so with that let's go ahead and start so what i typically do is i always maybe um get a little bit of warm water let me get some warm water here and these products, the Boisha products, you do not have to use a lot. Like a little goes a long way. That's what I love about this line. So I'm only squirting like a little bit, y'all, like literally. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and rub it in. Get a little water on my hands. And you always wanna make sure you get your neck area, okay? Always get your neck area. I even get my eyes too, y'all. Let me tell you something, I cleanse everything. I want everything clean, okay? Now, what I love to do is, this is like a little um, a little um, scrubbing pad. I don't know the proper name for it, but I love this little thing. You can actually get this from the Dollar Tree. So what I typically do is put a little water on it and wet it a little bit. This really helps because these little bristles, they really get down in there, in your pores and in your skin and gives you like a good, it's kind of like an exfoliation almost a little bit with your cleanser. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to take my, my face cloth and listen, I have a white face cloth, white, always use white. Please do not use a color face cloth on your face. The reason why is you know that um, if you use colored face cloths, they have dye in them and the dye 
can get into your skin because right now I'm open. My pores are open, like, and you don't want that dye to get into your skin. So always, always use, please use um, white face cloths for your face, okay? So I'm gonna get some warm water and I'm just gonna wash this off. Okay, now, let me move that off. I've cleansed my face with my cleanser, so now I'm gonna move to the next thing. Now this next thing, um, what I like to do is, I love to um, put a toner on. So my next step will be my toner. And this is, this is Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. This is Witch Hazel. Okay, so y'all, I love to use Witch Hazel as a toner. This particular one, I love using because it's gentle, it's not harsh. I know some of you like you may use like Sea Breeze. Oh my God, did y'all grow up in the 80s and 90s using Sea Breeze? Honey, that thing about knocked you out. Actually conditions pores. So I, like I told you, if you're acne prone like me, I'm always looking for things that have ingredients to help my pores. So I'm just gonna take this and put Put it on a little cotton swab like that and I'm just gonna apply it to my face okay so my next step is I like to use a scrub okay a facial scrub exfoliation let me tell you why you want to exfoliate exfoliating helps get rid of like dead skin cells on your skin so for me, because like I said, I'm focused on minimizing my pores. I'm focused on um, less breakouts, right? And less oil, So, cause, because oil actually breaks my skin out. It causes blackheads and pimples and stuff, right? But exfoliation, literally, it's almost like it removes a layer of skin, of dead skin. This is actually by a company I love, I found on Instagram. I buy all their soaps and natural products called Goddess of the Sea. But it's a coffee and brown sugar scrub. I love this. It's natural, okay? And the reason why I like it is because it improves blood circulation, removes dead skin cells, it improves the texture of your skin, reduces the appearance of cellulite, adds a glow to your skin, honey, and I be glowing. It has anti-inflammatory properties and helps with breakouts, okay? So this is a really good scrub. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it up. It's what it looks like. I didn't about use this up. But I normally just take a little bit of water and put it on my hand and wet my face and then I begin the facial, begin the scrubbing, okay? So let me do that now. I'll show you what this looks like. I might need to move this right here. Can y'all see me? It's so much steam, child. Lord Jesus. So I just take a little bit like that in my hand and just start rubbing it on and scrubbing it in. In circular motions. This is how I normally do it. Working this in, y'all. Working it in, okay? Make sure, don't forget that neck, y'all. Please don't forget your neck, y'all. Don't forget your neck. All right, once I let that do that for a little bit, all right, then I'm gonna take my, my face cloth and I'm gonna rinse it with warm water, some H2O, and then I'm gonna um, remove this from my face, remove the scrub from my face. And guys, I'm gonna include a link for everything that I'm using for you to be able to um, purchase if you want to purchase, okay? Okay, so my next step, after my coffee and brown sugar scrub, my next step is going to be my Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. Now y'all, I love this. Once again, this is from my favorite line called Boisha okay, or Bashia. So let me tell you the benefits of this mask and why I use it, okay? Um, I wrote down a few notes, so here we go. Matcha green tea extract is in this mask, which helps reduce oils, it fights free radical damages, brightens and rejuvenates skin. This actually helps with redness and inflammation, anti-aging and acne and oil control. So I told you, if you're acne prone like me, this is the bomb baby. It's gonna control your oil, your acne breakouts, and all of that good stuff. This also has willow bark extract in it, which is a natural salicylic acid that combats acne and reduces redness in the skin. Let me tell you the neat thing about this product. All of their products come with a spatula, y'all. Look at this. 
all of their products, Bosha products, come with a spatula. Um, and the reason why they include this is because you're not supposed to literally put your fingers in the product because of the bacteria and germs that are on your hands. You're supposed to use your spatula to get your product out and use it to apply apply it on your face, on your skin. So let's do it and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it, this is what it looks like, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna take my little spatula and I'm gonna get a good amount like that. What I do is I'll put it on the back of my hand and then let me bring my steamer back over y'all cause I gotta get my, get the steam on my face, okay? Cause I like to apply this with the steam. All right, and now I'm going to apply my mask, my matcha mask, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna take, take it from my hand and I'm just going to Yes, come on mask. Oh. And now I just let this kind of just marinate on this good face. And now this mask, you're supposed to let it sit for, let's see, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now that I've have allowed my um, matcha mask to sit on my face for 15 minutes, I am now going to rinse it off with warm water. Oh, that feels so good, y'all. Um, the next thing I'm going to do once again is I just always like to bring balance to my face, to my skin. So I am going to get my, uh, where's my witch hazel? Here we go. I'm just gonna get my, my witch hazel again. Um, I use it twice. I'm just gonna use that and I'm just gonna bring a little balance to my skin. My skin feels good already, y'all. Oh my gosh. And then my next step would be moisturize, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this steamer because I am done with my steamer. I'm going to moisturize. Now, my moisturizer that I use is from Vashia again. They have the best moisturizer I have ever had in my entire life. So let me, let me share with you a few of the benefits. So this cactus water moisturizer, y'all, um, has what, what is called the queen of the night plant which is from Mexico. Mexico, okay. It is a succulent plant. It adapts to drastic climate and helps from dramatic hydration, okay? So it hydrates like a mug. It is has it has South African resurrection plant infused in it. Baby, anything from the motherland. It reduces redness um, it improves texture of skin. It creates a barrier for the skin. It reinforces the skin. It revitalizes the skin and it helps to rehydrate. Another extract is aloe vera flower extract. And y'all already know aloe vera is the bomb, okay? But this is a water binding agent for skin which provides anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. It is also for dry and sensitive skin and restoring skin moisture. So this cactus water moisture, y'all, is bomb. I am not even lying. I have not found any moisturizer better than this. I'm going to apply my moisturizer to my skin. Now, I told you that Boisha, because they're so big on not um, putting toxins back into your skin, once again, they sell this with a spatula so that you don't have to double dip with your finger using your fingers or your fingernails because your nails can carry bacteria. So I'm just gonna take this off, y'all. This moisturizer is the bomb. I'm gonna show you what it looked like. It is the bomb. It's vegan. You can't beat that and it works. You don't need a lot, y'all. Literally, that much right there will go a long way. You really don't need a lot. Just like that. And then I'll just go dab, 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 dab. 
down. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. So now I'm just going to roll that in now, like that. Like and then I always like go like this under my eye area. Use your ring finger. Don't ever put too much pressure under your eye. You don't want to. That skin is so sensitive. It's sensitive. Yes. Oh my God. If you can feel my skin, it firms. Like my skin is firm. It's hydrated. It feels so good. It feels so new. I love it. Okay. Love this. All right. So that's my moisturizer. And then what I do next is I'm an oil girl. I love me some oils. So I love rose hip oil. Y'all, this stuff is so good for your face. Organic rose hip oil. This is a restoring skincare oil. So rose hip oil has vitamin A and vitamin C. Vitamin A, which is encourages skin cell turnover. So that this encourages skin cells turnover. So that means your skin, your skin is renewing itself. Okay. It's purging. It's renewing itself. Cell regeneration. And I do use it um, after I apply my moisturizer. So I'm just going to do a little bit here on my, and I'll just put it here like that and down here. And I just rub it in. So my final step, I use a jade roller. I love this little jade roller. Once again, my dear sister friend, June, my friend, she who also gave me my little um, steamer, got this for me for my birthday. Or it was either for Christmas or my birthday. But I love this jade roller. So let me tell you about the jade roller. This is really good for massaging your skin. And it's really good for like... Um, getting like um, circulation going in your skin as well in your face area to actually reconstruct your face because a lot of people when they use it they like do it on their jawbone like that and roll up so yeah it'll reconstruct it, it has, if you do it over time you can actually change the um the dimension and the shape of your jawline like what but I normally keep this jade roller in the refrigerator. You're supposed to keep it in the refrigerator, keep it cold because it just adds like a, a refreshness to it. I don't know, it, it just works. Just keep it cold, y'all. I'm gonna go up, I always go upward. Now this little small, the little small roller, you can use that on your nose, on your nose area right there. Some of y'all want a nose job, you might just need to do this consecutively. Remember also that your skincare starts from the inside out. And I want to share with you two things that I believe actually helps contribute to beautiful skincare. Okay. Uh, let me share this with you. I drink this alkaline water. I love alkaline water. Let me tell y'all, drink you plenty of alkaline water. So make sure you're getting plenty of water. I cannot stress that enough. That is your number one beauty tip, baby. That's the number one skincare tip. Mm. So good and smooth. Another thing that I've been doing, working on my skincare from the inside out is, I take this, it's called Collagen Up. This is amazing. So this is, um, it has, um, I can't even pronounce some of the stuff in here, but I know what it do. This Collagen Up, it supports healthy hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones. And it's a really great supplement. It has no, no gluten, no GMOs, no soy. Um, and this has um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, which you know is good for the skin. Um, and it helps like the collagen and elasticity in your skin. This stuff is really good. I've noticed a difference since I've been using it. Get you some of this. I ordered this on iHerb. I will leave the link for you, okay, in, um, in below. I'll leave the link for you below. So yeah, so that's in skincare from the inside out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have learned um, something through this tutorial um, with your skincare steamer routine. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, leave comments, let me know, share with me some tips that I can include in my skincare routine, okay? Because I know I don't know it all. But hey, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for learning some new things. So until the next time, the next place, and the next topic. Stay dope, y'all. Peace.